Moran. Thank you very much. Uh, Administrator Nelson, uh, aeronautics, um, hugely vital, important component. You've said the, the first day in NASA is uh, related to aeronautics. I appreciate that uh, uh, prioritization. What, um, how is NASA, how do they collaborate with industry and academia to ensure that the breakthroughs that NASA develops are uh, successfully integrated into the commercial private sector available to academia, uh, increasing America's leadership in the aeronautical aspect of NASA? I'll give you two examples that are ongoing right now. The X-59, which is the supersonic uh, transport, but this is a, uh, uh, an experimental needle-nosed jet that's going to fly. It has this radical design. Uh, it is going to fly at the end of the year and to see if we can go supersonic and not have the bam, bam of the sonic boom so that you could fly over populated areas and it would be a muffled roar so that you could fly from New York to LA in two hours. Uh, that would, we do the research, and that would eventually be turned over to the commercial uh, sector. The other uh, project that's going on right now called the X-66 is a joint project with Boeing on the future single-aisle mid-range aircraft, think the Boeing 737, that would get 30% fuel savings. By far, the most trafficked airliner is that mid-range single-aisle aircraft. If you can get 30% fuel, and the design of this is a high on the fuselage, very long and thin wing, so much that it has to be supported with struts, and the struts also give you lift, by the way, and then these big, new, improved fan jet engines, because it's higher off the ground, you can get newer. Between the wing and the engines, we can save 30% of fuel. So that is directly a joint project with NASA money and Boeing money. I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing and uh, hearing more about both of those projects. Administrator, would you ask uh, someone in, on your team to visit with me and mine? I want to have a conversation about how some of the capabilities we have in Kansas for uh, testing facilities of aircraft structures, uh, materials, components, uh, better, how we can better support uh, the research and uh, efforts at NASA. If you just have somebody on your team, make sure that we have a conversation. It's done. Thank you. Um, got uh, a minute and a half. I got six questions, and uh, let me pick between one of them. Let me just say in passing, uh, doctor, that there are this report by Jason about security uh, of, of scientific research. Uh, there's a report that's due today. I think the deadline is May the 24th. I'm interested in knowing what NSF has to say about that. I won't ask a question, but if you can uh, make sure that we know that. And then uh, NSF budget includes funding for leadership class at computing facilities. Um, again, I'm probably out of time, so I, I just was going to raise the point about the growth in computing capacity in the private sector. How much longer should the government continue to build supercomputers that may be relatively obsolete uh, by the time the construction is complete. Maybe that's a short answer. If, if that's uh, we can. Yeah, if you, no, I can give you a very quick answer. I mean, we work very closely with the industry so that this problem that you're talking about, the becoming obsolete, uh, it's it's a constant uh, you know uh, partnership with industry so that the latest and in fact the more advanced technologies are what we are deploying for the computing need. As you heard the response to the AI, uh, the NAIR uh, pilot that we talked about, there is tremendous computing need right now on so many dimensions whether it is you know, climate mitigation or whether it is AI, whether it is quantum, 
the, the modeling needs are tremendous in every aspect of science and engineering. So it's important that we invest, but we also, to your point, we need to partner with the industry very closely to understand their roadmaps of technology development so that we are you know, integrating their future technology thinking as we are planning our own computing facilities, and that we do as we are looking at the future like the LCCF and others. So Government is always slower than the private sector in these advancements, and we need to make sure that we're get on the same path and not uh, doing things that are obsolete. Thank you, Chairwoman.